you know, I was I was at the airport the other day. I was at the airport and I was like behind this like this black couple. You know they were older, like in their sixties and shit. And then I, they were arguing. They were sort of arguing with the woman behind the counter who was white, right? And I could hear her saying to them, "Unfortunately, sir, check in for that flight closed seven minutes ago." Then the black guy said, "But what about that guy?" <laughs> And there was this white guy there kind of leaving with his hand luggage, you know? And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, like, he was, he was really upset. He said, I can see what is happening here. I can see what is happening. Let me tell you something. Those days are over. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then she said, uh, excuse me, sir, would those be the days when you used to catch your flops? <laughs> Yeah, obviously, I mean, he that pissed him off. He was like, what? This is nonsense. This is rubbish. I need to speak to somebody who doesn't wear a name tag around here. This is bullshit. Yeah, and then he looked around in the queue to see if there were other black people that could support him in his struggle. But unfortunately, I was the only one. So obviously, I avoided all eye contact. <laughs> like, <laughs> then he said to his wife, he said to his wife, you see, babe, you see, that is why we are not moving forward. <laughs> because we don't support each other. <laughs> then I said, no, we are not moving forward because you're holding up the fucking line. <laughs> But I said it inside. <laughs>